over our sins, our abominations, our wickedness, our adulteries. Almighty God, we look before you this morning as we're gathered here. Oh God Almighty, we give you thanks this morning. Oh God, we thank you for your people that, oh God, you have drawn to this house. In the name of Jesus, let the blood that was shed, the blood, the blood of Jesus begin to touch every person in this house this morning from the crown of their heads to the very sole of their feet. Let the blood go deep in the recesses of our souls. Yes, God, let the blood begin to cleanse. Let the blood, oh God, begin to destroy every evil seed that the enemy has planted in our, oh God, our souls, in our body this morning. Let the antiseptic blood of Jesus Christ begin to cleanse our souls and our hearts and our minds this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let your blood go deep in our bloodline this morning. Oh God, and begin to cleanse and begin to wash. Oh God, everything that hinders us, God, from being in your presence. In the name of Jesus, we send the blood to our homes. We send the blood to our children. We send the blood to our minds. In the name of Jesus, we pull down every stronghold. Ilabasatoya. Yay. The blood, the blood, the blood. There is power in the blood. Yereko Shatalabahai. Let the blood begin to move, God, in this room this morning, from bench to bench. Oh, God, from person to person, from heart to heart this morning. Let the blood go, God, where nothing else can go. Let it go to our DNA. Let it go to our cells. Let it go to our microbes. Yes, God, let it go deep. Oh, God, into our plasma. Let it go, go shkata shkata, laba kuse telebo sata. Let it go, deep God. Let the blood go deep this morning. Yes, God, where no medication can go. Let the blood go deep, God. Where nothing else can go, God. Let your blood begin to rush, katash, kataya. Begin to touch the hearts of your people. Those who are bound. Those who are depressed. Those who are oppressed. Let the blood go, God, deep and begin to loose them. In the name of Jesus. Rako shatai. Yes, God, let the blood, let the blood of Jesus do a work on your people this morning, oh God. Yes, God, locate every witchcraft powers. Raka shakuta. We send the blood. Rapa koshete. Bakushe ketalabasata. Brakushakutura baskata. We send the blood of Jesus to every witchcraft powers that has been sent to oppress your people this morning. In the name of Jesus, we send the blood to your finances this morning. We send the blood to your marriage this morning. We send the blood to your business this morning. We send the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood. Laba kusete. Yedolobo sataya. We send the blood to every other blood that is crying out against you this morning. We silence every blood with the blood of Jesus. Rako shatai. We send the blood. We silence every blood 
that is crying out uh, against you this morning uh, uh, from the earth, uh, from the grave. Uh, every innocent blood uh, that you have shed uh, through abortion uh, that is speaking against you. We silence that blood this morning uh, with the blood of Jesus. Uh, Yes, God, the blood that is crying out, the blood of the innocent God, the innocent Dushka Talabasata. Oh, God, forgive this morning. Oh, God, in a case the blood of the unborn. Oh, Yanan Yan Yonchene. Yes, God, that is crying out, causing life to be difficult for your people, God. Father, let that Oh, God, let the let the soul of the innocent God find rest this morning. Oh, God, oh, God, we cry out to you. We have an advocate this morning. Oh, God, we stand uh, in the courts of heaven. Uh, we bring our case uh, before you this morning. Uh, you're the mighty judge. Uh, Father, bring out the men uh, in white linen this morning. Uh, your representatives, God, uh, bring out the records uh, that the enemy has uh, on your people, God, uh, using uh, as a legal grounds. Uh, oh, God, God to fight them. Akushete basata. Yes, God, we are guilty. Yes, God, they're guilty. We shanamandi o shatai. Nyong nyong chong chong, chong chong nyong chong chong nyong chong ah. Yong chang yong chong yong chong. Yes, God, we bring our case before you this morning. You're a just judge. Akushete nebo sata. Yes, God, the enemy God, he comes before you. Oh God, akachende nebo sata, and he brings up our cases to use it legally against us. But we come, God, ilaba sata bahai trial. Our cases in Abasato bring out the records that the enemy has and our ancestors. Oh, Shadalaba Shatai. Bring out the records, God. The books, the inner records that the enemy has. Oh, God and us. Bring out the books this morning. Every ikushkata, every inner and writing, oh God, that has been writing against us, Father, erase every demonic and writing this morning. Mm. Yes, God, we are not ignorant this morning to the devices of the enemy, God. Yes, God. Oh, we bring our case. We bring our cases before you in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God, our ancestors who have shed blood, innocent blood, God. Our ancestors who have destroyed lives. Our ancestors, oh God, who are guilty of raping and violating in women, mighty God, Akushetelebo Satai. Yes, God, we send the blood, we send the blood, God, to our foundation. Yes, God. Oh, Some of us, God, our ancestors is in the Lord, Freemasonry, God. Father, they have made covenant, oh God, with the enemy. We will not become collateral damage in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Some of them, God, they have sold our destiny. Is. They have sold out uh, their bloodline, uh, but God we bring the blood. Mm. Oh, 
there's a man to pray. There is a God to answer. We excavate this morning. Everything that was buried. Everything that has been hidden. Yes, God. Oh, Shatai. Oh God, intervene for us this morning. Yes, God, you are our battle axe. Rakashata. Bakushetelebo Sataya. Yes, God. Yes, Yes, God, Rabba Kushede Rebaba Sata Rabba Kata Yedaba Sanda Rabba Kunjelebe Satia. Yes, God, begin to move in this house this morning, oh God. Father, begin to touch your people. Let them not leave here the same way they came, oh God. Father, we come to you because you're a merciful God. Yes, God, your word says if we ask, it shall be given. If we seek you, we will find you. If we knock, it shall be open. Father, you will not wait all anything good from them that love you yes God you know that we love you this morning so you will not withhold anything good from us in the name of Jesus anoint this service God we command the events to be opened yes God anoint the moderator from the crown of their heads uh, to the very sole of their feet, God. Uh, anoint the preacher this morning. Uh, yes, God. Uh, put fire in their belly. Uh, fire in their mouth. Uh, fire in their hands. Yes, God. Even the very musicians. Uh, let them play on one accord, God. Uh, Father, let them synchronize them this morning. Oh God, to the right tuning, to the right chords, God. Let them hit the right notes, the notes that will open up another dimension that will bring us to another level this morning in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, even the man of God, Activate the mantle upon his life. Let the mantle, oh God, be active this morning in the name of Jesus. The prophetic mantle. Yes, God. Let this atmosphere be conducive for miracle signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. Yay. Yes, God. Yes, let this atmosphere, God, be ripe. Oh, God, for healing and deliverance and souls to be saved, God. In the name of Jesus, arrest every unsaved soul in this house this morning. Holy Spirit, do a work. Father, your word says, one water, but only you, God, do the increase. Let there be an increase, oh God, in the souls of your people this morning. Draw them unto you, God. Draw them. Let them begin to drink from the well that never runs dry. The well, the well of the living God. Holy Spirit, come and dwell with us this morning. Come and abide with us, Holy Spirit. Come and dwell with us this morning. We cannot do it by ourselves. We cannot do it on our own. We need you, Holy Spirit. Come and tabernacle with us this morning. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we glorify you this morning. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory this morning. 
We give you all the honor this morning. Hallelujah. Begin to worship God this morning. Father, we thank you, oh God. We thank you for bringing us into your house. Oh God, to worship you. Yes, God, we come. I command you, Shatai, the anointing for worship, to hit your people this morning. In the name of Jesus, they will not be pumped or manipulated to worship you. But worship will begin to flow in this house. Father, release the anointing for worship upon your people this morning. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. We give you praise this morning, Jesus. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. There is none like you, Jesus. We thank you this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Come on, can we stand to our feet everywhere as we lift up our voices and be thankful unto him and bless his name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Can you just wave your hands in his presence? Hey, we give a glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you. Come on, where the worshipers at. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands in his presence. Jesus. Wave them in his presence. Hallelujah. For in his presence, there's fullness of joy. Hallelujah. Come on, say with me. In his presence, there's fullness of joy. Come on, say with me. In his presence, there's fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pledges forevermore. Come on, hallelujah. Let's bless him, let's bless him, let's bless him. Today is a day for cele of celebration. Hallelujah. 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 I want to say a pleasant good afternoon. Amen to all of you that, are gather that have gathered here in his presence. In this atmosphere, in this house of worship, glory to Jesus. We want to thank those who are already gathering online. We ask you to, to sh please share the broadcast. Please share it, share it, share it. Share it in your WhatsApp statuses. Share it in your, um, your Facebook platforms. Glory to God. YouTube, Facebook, we welcome you. Amen. If you're here for the first time, please brace yourself for something good is about to happen. Amen. We are here to worship God in the beauty of holiness. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor. Uh, come on, participate. Say, neighbor, I'm happy to see you. You are in a good place. Come on, say, neighbor, there is a blessing in store for you. Come on, some of you have not yet started. One more time, look at somebody and tell the neighbor. You are at a good place, and there's something good in store for you today. Come on, say, are you ready to receive it? Come on, are you ready to receive it? Are you ready to receive it? Glory to Jesus, hallelujah. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures. Pleasures forevermore. Oh, what fellowship divine. I am in. I am in the deep. In the presence. In the presence of the Lord. There is fullness of joy. In his presence, there is fullness. There is fullness of joy. And that is right hand. And his right hand. There are pleasures. Pleasures forevermore. Oh, what a You 
all know the song. In His presence, in His presence, yeah. fullness of joy. And that is right, yeah. In this present, yeah, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures, pleasures forevermore. What fellowship, oh, what fellowship divine. I am his and he is mine. For in What fellowship? Oh, what fellowship divine! I We praise you, Lord. Come on, do you got? Do you have joy with you today? Do you have joy inside of you today? Come on, am I talking to some lively Hallelujah. people? Hallelujah. Am I talking to some people that know that Jesus arose from the dead? Hallelujah. Am I talking to a church knowing that our God is not dead, he's alive? Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your voices and shout hallelujah in this house today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There is resurrection power hallelujah. in this house. Hallelujah. So... You are here today to celebrate Hallelujah. whatever the enemy threw at you for this past week. That's past and gone. Hallelujah. You have overcome. Yes. Hello? Overcome. You have made it. Yes. The enemy lost. You are a winner. Hallelujah. So I need you to stop being so nice and being so cute. Open your mouth and praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, open. Then I need this site to get activated. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth, somebody, and begin to give God some praise. Shout hallelujah. Let the devil know that you are a winner. Hallelujah. Let the devil know that you are a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Come on, can you clap your hands? Celebrate. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, celebrate. Yeah, yeah. Put your hands together more. Come on. Celebrate. 
Jesus, come on this side, come on this side, I need you to get involved, come on to celebrate, yeah. together we're not going to sing or anything we just need to put our hands together the bible says clap your hands all you people there is something that happens in the realm of the spirit when you clap your hands together come on those of you that are on this side i know you may be you might not used to church but your hands belong to the lord come on tell your neighbor say neighbor my hand belongs to the my hands belong to the lord so I'm going to clap them for the Lord right now. Come on, little ones, every person. Come on. One, two, three. Clap them. Yeah. Can I see you move your feet now? Can I see you move your feet a little bit now? Come on. Those of you that used to go to the clubs, and maybe some of you still do. But when you used to go to the clubs, you used to move your feet, right? Why not move them now for the Lord Jesus? Clap your hands, come on. upon us when we go to the to, to, to the football field uh, and to the, to the basketball games we make noise for our team uh, I know my God is greater than football and soccer and, and basketball come on I need you all to lift up your voices for Jesus today come on shout hallelujah shout hallelujah hey 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 Jesus is alive. Hey, 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 he's standing by my 
Somebody tell a neighbor, come on, talk to somebody beside you. Tell a neighbor, I don't serve a dead God. When I pray, he responds. My come on, talk to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, my God is not like Buddha. My God don't have a big belly. Come on, say neighbor, my God does not have a bald head. Say neighbor, I serve a good, good God. Come on, talk to somebody beside us. Say, neighbor, the God that I serve, he is alive and well. Yes, Jesus is alive. Hey, 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 he's standing by my side. Hey, 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 come on. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Yes, they tortured him and then they nailed him to the a sight to see all the pierced side then they buried him but she arose from the grave when we went to the tomb of Jesus Christ was come on everybody say hey 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 oh Lord Jesus is alive hey 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 come on this side is not celebrated huh? serve today is alive and well I need you to lift up your voices like you've never done it before and just call him by his name just shout Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. shout Jesus one Jesus. more time Jesus. shout Jesus one more time Jesus. yes Jesus. Jesus. Jesus one more time come on Jesus. everybody say Jesus. everybody say Jesus. everybody say Everybody say, Jesus, everybody say, Jesus, everybody say, Jesus, everybody say, everybody say, Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus. The grave is empty. The grave is empty. Hello. Hello. The grave is empty. I said the grave is empty. Hallelujah. Watch me. I said the grave is empty. The grave is empty. I need us to lift our hands in this presence. Hallelujah. Do you know what Jesus went through for us? Do you know the agony, the shame, the disgrace? 
the turmoil, the pain, the nails that were driven in his hands, in his feet, the mockery that he went through. It is time for us to lift our voices and to thank him. Come on, every person in this room. Lord, I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I thank you for shedding your blood for me. Come on, say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Come on, say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Somebody lift up your voices and say, Lord, I thank you. Come on, go ahead and praise him for 30 seconds. Express yourself to him. Express yourself to him. Come on, I need you to move your lips, move your hands, move your feet if you got to. Express yourself to him. Oh, We thank you. I release the spirit of miracles in this house. I release the spirit of restoration in this house. I command the angel of breakthrough that has been assigned to help us to move right now. Let every heart that has been broken be restored right now. Because as the songwriter says, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Father, I thank you now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit of God, move like you've never done before. We celebrate resurrection power today. We celebrate resurrection power today. Come on, I wish somebody could get involved. Open them up and decree and declare. Every person in the room, release something from your lips. Show some gratitude. Come on, show some gratitude. Come on, show We worship you. Come on, we adore you. We bless you. We lift you up. Oh, Shama. Oh, Emmanuel. Oh, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Come on, any worshippers. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. As we shout your praise, the stones have been rolled away. You have robbed the grave. Your eternal victory. Shout out Zion. Shout in triumph. Death is now. Jesus is alive. How many of you believe that today? Shout out Zion. Shout in triumph. Death is now alive. 
Lift your hands. Shout out, Zion. Shout in triumph. Jesus, she is alive. Every demon shake as we shout your praise. All the songs have been rolled away. You have her of the grave. So we celebrate. No victory. Shout! Shout outside. Shout in triumph. Death is now alive. Yeah, yeah. Shout outside. Shout in triumph. Jesus, she. On an empty grave, we dance on an empty grave. We have overcome, yeah. We have overcome. Oh. We dance on an empty grave. We dance on an empty grave. We have overcome, yeah. We have overcome. Oh. We dance on an empty grave. We have overcome. Are there any overcomers? We have overcome. We dance. So we dance. Oh, we have overcome. We have overcome. We have overcome. We dance on an empty grave. We have overcome. We have overcome. We have overcome. We dance on an empty grave. We have overcome. We have overcome. Somebody shout, shout out, Zion, shout in triumph. Death is now alive. Shout out, Zion, shout in triumph. Jesus is alive. Shout out, Zion. Shout in triumph. Death, it is now a lie. It's a lie. Shout out, Zion. Shout in triumph. Jesus is alive. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout thank you, Lord. For dying in my place. Hallelujah. Come on, say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's clap our hands for the Lord Jesus in the house. Hallelujah. Come on, every person, put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, I need every person in the room, put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to make welcome right now, Pastor Abby Brown, as she comes to take us through the remaining portion of this service. Make her welcome. Clap her hands as she comes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let us give God glory. Come on, somebody, can you just stand to your feet, hallelujah, and let us shut back the heavens, come on, hallelujah, hallelujah, has God been good to you this morning, come on, somebody, has God been good to you, hallelujah, glory be to God, this Sunday should be like no other. I'm telling you, he died and he rose again. Come on, somebody, you gotta praise him like you know you got victory this morning. You gotta shout like you know the God that we serve. Oh, come on, somebody, died and he rose again. Glory to God, hallelujah. Are we in celebrating move this 
morning. Are we giving the highest praise this morning? Are we touching heaven this morning? Come on, somebody, do you want to see God move like never before? Hallelujah, hallelujah. It is an honor and it is a privilege to moderate the service this morning. Amen. I just want to give my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who hallelujah. is my life. Amen. All the glory and all the honor which is due unto him this morning. Can you just put your hands above your head and welcome the Holy Spirit in our midst this morning? Can you just shout out the heavens? Come on, somebody, praise him like you're crazy. Praise him like you're losing your mind. Hallelujah. I want to give honor to all the leaders in their respective places. Amen. The ministers, everyone is looking so beautiful this morning. Hallelujah. Give honor to the ministers. Amen. Hallelujah. Or assistant, Pastor Mulgrew. Come on, celebrate the woman of God. Hallelujah. Or deacons in the house. I mean, or deacon and or um, 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 evangelist in the house. The mother of this church. Amen. I honor you all, lovely saints. Amen. Or viewers this morning. Hallelujah. Or musicians. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All the leaders that are here this morning. Amen. And last but not least, the shepherd of this great ministry. Come on, celebrate this visionary. Celebrate this great man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Can we sing a song as we praise God for his goodness this morning? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Did anyone meditate this week? Hallelujah. Of what Jesus went through for you and I. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So we can be free this morning. So we can be without sin this morning. Come on, somebody. You ought to praise him. Hallelujah. I want to sing this old song. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. Yes, that song. Thank you. Then, Lord, what do I do? Yes. The, the angels beckon me from heaven. Come on, sing it, praise and worship.
be taken from Isaiah 53 and we'll read alternatively. When you found it, please say amen. May all please stand in the house. Everyone standing, everyone standing, everyone standing, please stand. Children, please stand. We stand for the reading of God's word. Amen. The reading of God's word is as follows. Isaiah 53, reading from verse 1, and we'll read alternative. Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the harm of the Lord revealed? He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid as if it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her sharer is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. Yeah. 
and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Because he hath done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. He says, He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Twelve and last will all read together. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. We honor the word by saying, Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for Evangelist Drummond for the scripture reading. Hallelujah. At this time, please make welcome our assistant pastor, Mulgrave. She'll be coming with the welcome. Please put your hands together for her as she comes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us stand to our feet. We greet the Holy Spirit this morning. Amen. We welcome him into this house this morning. We greet all the leaders this morning in their respective places. And we greet our shepherd of this great ministry. Amen. Prophet Lamoy Brown and his beautiful rib, Pastor Abby Brown. Come on, let's stand to our feet as we sing. Come on, glory to God. Let us greet somebody.
love of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. 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 As we make our way back to our seats this morning, hallelujah. Again, I would like to welcome the host of heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Are you here for a great time in the Lord this morning? Let me hear you. Are you here for a great time in the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. We want to acknowledge all our very special guests among us. To our first time and returning guests, we welcome you. Are there any first time visitors in the house this morning? Could you please stand to your feet, tell us your name, and let us know who invited you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Can we give her a hearty liberty, vision of hope, welcome this morning? We welcome you. Hallelujah. My name is Ali, and I'm with the, the sun and with the glory. Glory to God. We welcome you, sir. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> the Lord bless you, Sister Nova. Thank you so much for heeding to the invitation. Amen. Are there any other visitors? Glory to God. We thank you so much for heeding to the invitation. Hallelujah. We pray that whatever you came for, you won't leave without getting it. Do we have any other visitors? Don't be shy. Come on. We don't eat, people. Glory to God. Can we give her a hearty hand clap as she stands to her feet? Go ahead, my love. Who wants to go first? God bless you, Sister Janelle. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Zadine, and I've been invited by my mom. Glory to God. We thank you for coming. Glory to God. We thank you for coming. My name is Omar and I'm invited by my mom. Glory to God. Can we give them a hearty welcome? Glory to God. We pray that if you don't have a church home of your own, that you will consider us. Amen. And that you're always welcome to come back and worship with us on behalf of our leadership here at Liberty Vision of Hope, our host pastor and our first lady. We welcome each and every one of you. And we ask that you come again and worship with us in the beauty of holiness. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Brothers and sisters, please put your hands together for all our leaders in their respective places. Put your hands together for our new deacon, Deacon Philippe. Put your hands together for our evangelists. Glory to God. Our administrative staff, our teachers, our church mother. Please celebrate and appreciate our musicians, everyone. Glory to God, our minister, Minister Samantha, Minister, Minister Christine Roberts, I'm sorry. Glory to God, and Minister Lopez, glory to God. Minister Sue, we thank God for you, woman of God. How could I jump over you? Last but not least, please stand as we show some love. Glory to God to our pastors this morning. We thank God for Pastor Abby Brown. Glory to God. Woman of God, we thank God for you. We welcome you this morning. And last but not least, come on, we need drum roll for the shepherd of this great ministry. None other than our very own prophet, apostle. Come on, somebody. Lamoy Brown. Come on, let me give God praise for him. Let us give God praise for him. I know he has a word in his belly, and I cannot wait for him to deliver. Amen. Glory to God. And as we'd like to say, let's worship the Lord Jesus today in the beauty of holiness. Brace yourself for something good is about to happen. Come on, you know this by now. Come on, let's say it again. Brace yourself for something good is about to happen. May the Lord bless you. I know, turn it back over to our moderator, Pastor Abby Brown. Amen. Thank you, Assistant Pastor Mulgrave. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the musicians. Come on, celebrate the musicians. Hallelujah. 
Come on, drummer, let us hear something from you this morning. There you have it. Hallelujah. Let us hear from the Keezy. Come on, celebrate our musicians. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Basie, let us hear what you got. morning amen or youtube and our facebook viewers we welcome you this morning amen at this time um minister lopez will be coming with the announcement please put your hands together for her as she comes thank you pastor abby happy resurrection sunday saints of god amen amen we have a lot to cover so first i'll go briefly over our weekly services and upcoming events amen our weekly services are as follows each and every Sunday, we have youth and adult Sunday school, which commences at 10.45 a.m., and it's then followed by our divine worship service at 11.30. Amen? Every Wednesday is our corporate fasting and prayer. Uh, we ask everyone to call in on the conference line number provided on the back of your bulletins. Uh, the times to call in are, thank you, the times to call in are 6 a.m., 12 noon, and 3 p.m., However, this starting tomorrow, we have our corporate fasting and prayer is for seven days from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Amen. Please still call in on the conference line number at 6 a.m. Call in at 12 noon at 3 p.m. And we close out at 6 p.m. Amen. Amen. Every Thursday, we have Believer's Bible Study at 7.30 p.m. right here in the sanctuary. And we ask that you invite someone out to come on out. And have the opportunity, this is your time to ask the man of God any questions that you've had your entire life. Amen. We can't ask him on Sunday, so please come on out and ask him on Thursdays. Amen. Amen. Every Friday right here, also in the sanctuary, we have Breaking Chains Midnight Prayer. And again, it's held right here. It's also streamed live on Facebook as well as YouTube. Amen. Every Saturday, we have evangelism between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Starting April, we're definitely going to be doing some intense evangelism. Please, if you would like to be a part of the evangelism ministry, please see our own Pastor Mulgrave. Amen? Every first Sunday is Communion Sunday. It is also Pastoral Sundays, and we ask the congregation to please dress in white, and we ask all clergy to please dress in their pastoral attire. Amen? Every second Sunday is Women's Sunday, and those ladies that are part of Women's Sunday and the women's ministry, rather, we ask you to wear purple. Please do not forget your women's ministry dues of $25. Those dues go to upcoming events. Amen? Every third Sunday is Youth Sunday. Youths, please remember that every Thursday at 6.30 p.m., there's also youth choir rehearsal. Also, with that said, Minister Samantha had sent out a notice in the women's ministry group. Parents, please have your children listen and practice that song for upcoming Youth Sunday in April. It's just a two-minute song. Let them put down the TikTok and the viral videos and study that song. Amen? It's just two minutes. Uh, Minister Samantha will also send it right back out again, so you do not forget it. Amen? Amen. Every fourth Sunday is Men's Sunday. And when there's a... <laughs> And when there's a fifth Sunday, it is Missionary Sunday. Amen? Amen. We have quite a few announcements now coming up. So we have our Grace Gathering Annual Prayer Breakfast. Amen? Amen. And that is coming on April 13th, and it starts at 9 a.m. We do have tickets available. If you do not have any tickets, please, please, please see our First Lady Pastor Abby Brown. Amen? It is on April 13th at 9 a.m. And we're going to have none other than Prophetess Nadine Owen. Amen? Amen. Coming up also in April, please take notes of all these announcements in April. Our sister church, Liberty Fellowship Deliverance Ministry, is having their pastoral appreciation service. Um, the banquet celebration is on April 28th, which is going to be at the Surf Club. Also, the gathering or the resetting will start off um, April 7th with Bishop Charles Ross, also at our sister church. The refreshing 
which will be hosted by Pastor Jackie Gates, will be on April 14th. And Superintendent, with the restoring Superintendent Keith Campbell, will be there on April 21st. Amen? Amen. So please take note of that. Also coming up, Stepping Out Foundation and Faith in Action Holistic Ministries is having approved for an upgrade. It's an all-white luncheon and and victory celebration, and is hosted, of course, by Pastor George Philpotts and Reverend Dr. Michelle Philpotts. We have our own minister, Sue, is also a a guest speaker. Amen? Amen. (laughs) We do have tickets available, so please see us after church. Amen? And also for Pastor Hull's Pastor Appreciation Service, we do have tickets available as well. Amen? Coming up also on Mother's Day, Sunday, May 12th, we have Jabez presents his annual Mother's Day Gala, and it's at 6 p.m., amen? It's going to be held at the Compound Banquet Hall, and it's at 19001 Linden Boulevard in St. Albans. Performing on that evening will be our very own Apostle Lemoy Brown, amen? Amen. And also Minister Pastor Judith Gale, amen? Amen. Brynwar Avenue Greater Glory Church of God is also inviting us for Ladies' Day Fellowship and Outpouring Service, which is on April 21st at 5.30 p.m. For more details on where Greater on where Brynmar Avenue Greater Glory Church of God, please see me and I will provide you that information. Amen. Our very own mayor, Mayor Sean Patterson Howard is inviting us to be a part of the Marib Community Wealth Building Day, which is being held also on April 13th. Um, We will also have there Pastor Carlton Sewell, as well as Kilimanjaro Tucson. Amen. There's free services and classes for the community. You can meet one-on-one with a lawyer investing in real estate, meet one-on-one with HUD certified housing counselors, also what to do with Big Mama's House, Meet one-on-one with a realist and the ABCs of home buying. Amen? Amen. Last but not least, we just want to acknowledge once more all the birthdays for March. Amen? Yesterday, we just celebrated Sister Trishara's birthday. She's in the house. Amen? Where is she? Sister Trishara, stand up. Let them see you. Let them see you. Amen. Amen. And we also want to just acknowledge Minister Sue, amen, amen, Sister Patrice Davis, amen, Mother Lorna, hallelujah, Brother Damon on the 19th, amen, Brother Jamal, we also had Sister Ashley McIntosh and Brother Kai Scott, amen. So we just want to wish all the March birthdays a blessings upon blessings upon infinite blessings, amen. Thank you, saints of God. I will now hand it back over to our moderator. Welcome her as she comes. Thank you, Minister Lopez. Put your hands together for her. Come on, we can do better than that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. At this time... We will be having the youth. They will be singing a song for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, um, Minister Samantha. I know it's not on the, I know, but. hands together for them as they come.
to do better than that for our youths. Hallelujah. Come on, cut them one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. At this time, we're going to go into another session of worship. Amen. Minister Roberts will be coming with our tithes and offering. Please put your hands together for her. Amen. 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 You risen this morning. Eh? Amen. Life on is falling us. Today is Resurrection Sunday. Amen. With that beautiful song that's just sung us right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed, blessed. Good more afternoon to our apostles, pastors, ministers, evangelists, and congregation, and those on the media line. Amen. Amen. Today is Resurrection Sunday. Yeah. You ready for resurrection offering? You ready for resurrection offering? You know, sure, you ready? I would have not know that on resurrection day, everything come alive. Friday gone, everything was dead, you know. So everything come alive this morning. Amen? So you see, it's because everything come alive this morning. For those who are visiting and those who are on the media land, we're going to encourage that you saw a special offering this morning. Amen? Amen. Okay, I'm going to turn with me in Malachi chapter 3. And I'm going to read from verse 7 to 11. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from my audience and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But he said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet he have robbed me. But you say, wherein have he robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this old nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now herewith, say the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, and I shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast, the, cast her fruit before the time in the field, say the Lord of hosts. Amen? Amen. 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 And, you know, many pastors don't preach on tithes and offering, and because of that, many don't know that when you work, you bring back one-tenth of that um, from, that time, from your salary. You give back one thing because money is a spirit. And, and the Bible say right here that, you know, it will open windows of the heaven, the doors, and pour out a blessing this afternoon. And it also said if you don't give, they're going to be a curse. You know, because um, money is a spirit that go around. And we don't know who, as I keep saying, that we're working for. You know, many people, you know, their God is different gods. And you see, they, 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 when they sacrifice, they sacrifice stuff. So whatever, when you receive your salary, sometimes I wonder when we get our paycheck, it's like it does run through our hand like water, right? Because a tenth of it is not blessed. Even if you don't come to church, give a family member or a friend, say, just sow this for me. So that, you know, that the 90% that is left back, it can be multiplied. But God is saying that if you don't give the one tenth, then he will take the 90 from you. And that is the reason why we can't see our way through life. A amen? You know, it's Sunday, the Sunday, can't want to call it the big offering, you know. I don't know why you can't wait. Go right side, man. I just so. want to make it clear. I, t I gave her some instruction, but I want it to be clear that this session is just for the regular tithe and offering. Amen. The seed and the first fruit offering, I will be collecting that at the end of the service as the Lord has directed me to do. So I want to make it clear because I don't want to have it be mixed up with the regular offering and tithe. Amen? Can we follow that instruction? 
So the the first fruit offering, I will be collecting that at the end of the service. Amen. Please proceed. Amen. You know which first fruit offering he's talking about? The one that he have asked for the first paycheck, right, Apostle? The first paycheck. That is what he he's talking about. For those who don't know. And it's still, if, if you don't know, you still can give it. It's not too late to always sow a seed. Amen? Amen. And um, we, we, for the, this bot, blue bottle here, the building fund, for those who have said, you know, you have your little dimes and your 25, so whatever it is here, you know, you can come back. If some of you know you have them storing and saving, this, this, the church is a good investment. So when you come and pour it in here, you know, there's a time you want the pastor to pray for you. You want them to do stuff for you and stuff, so forth like that. You know, in things like this, you know, because as I said, if you don't deposit at a bank, you don't expect to get a loan there. And you know, and I said, well, we are a bank here, but you know, you have to sow. If you don't sow, you can't reap. Amen. Amen. So it's just our regular offering. Amen. And an apostle will take up the rest. So please stand with me. And we're going to decree and declare. And the ushers will instruct you at the door to come and sow your offering when we are through. Amen. All stand. Please stand with me. Everyone, everyone, please stand in the house of God. Hold up your offerings, tithes and offering. We're going to decree and declare. I am a giver. I want you to speak life. Today is life. Amen. I am a giver. I am a tither. I give an obedience to the word of God. And according to Malachi 3 verse 10, 13. I live under an open heaven. I am blessed. I'm not hearing you. It don't sound like you're blessed. I am blessed, I am blessed. with more than enough. Yes. I am protected yes. from financial ruin yes. and all my efforts yes. are highly profitable. For I am, I am blessed by the hand of God. Are you blessed this morning? Yes. Are you blessed this morning? Are you blessed this morning? All right, ushers, musician.
For those who don't have cash, we have Zelle and we have the cash app. So if in cases that you don't have cash, we have card machines so you can still come waiting on you. And for those on the media land, you can Zell wherever you may be. Amen. Amen. Could you all stand, please? Amen. Let us decree and declare what the offering. Could you all join the hands of the offering? Because we're going to decree. Amen. Amen. This is Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Do you believe yeah. that everything that was dead is going to come alive? Amen. Amen. Yeah. All who don't have any job, do you believe yeah. that your soul, that the Lord is going to fulfill a job for you? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. For those who are sick, when you saw an offering, it's just that for just up to build an um, temple, you know. It's whatever you sow, the Lord said. You will you devour, devour. Devour can be anything. It does have to be, they said what, either the crop that even growing um, in season. In, in the winter, you'll be surprised you'll see some fruits just growing. That's what the Lord is decreeing and declaring. Amen? When he spoke to the fig tree, what did he say? It may what? Dry it up. Why? Because there was no fruit on it. Amen? Amen. So we're not going to dry up anything right now more than dead. Amen? And we're going to declare life. Amen? Amen. So when you pray, you're going to all help to pray and believe. Because we're just not coming just for Easter Sunday resurrection for this. Amen? Let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, mighty God of Danny. We thank you, God, that, Lord, you have been to the cross, Lord. And, Father, because of that, Lord, they said we might have life and have it more abundantly. And Father, as your people, Lord God Almighty, gather this afternoon, mighty God, Lord, to, to put on the altar, mighty God of Daniel, let them not put in vain, Lord, because you are promising Malachi 3, Lord, verse 10, 8 to 10, mighty God. For this, we must prove you this day, Lord, for those who even not working, for those who don't even have a dime, even for those who are sick, Lord, even for those who need somewhere to live, mighty God of Daniel, with who even don't have any food on the table. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we decree and declare, mighty God, Lord, whatever dead situation will come alive in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, because yes, Lord, you are not dead, uh, but you are alive. So everything, mighty God, that we believe and put our hope and trust in uh, will come alive in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, Lord let this side and hope, Lord, be mighty God, the build up your kingdom uh, and tear down Satan, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let it be the furtherance of your kingdom, Lord. As we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory, and we'll tell you thank you. In the, thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, we thank you. The Lord, multiply, multiply, multiply in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you know that you're going to reap big for what you just planted, can you just praise him? Praise him in advance. Hallelujah. At this time, we are about to hear from the man of God. Amen. I'm going to invite you to stand to your feet at this time. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the word? Come on, somebody, are you ready for the word? Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. At this time, I present to you no other than Apostle Lemoy Brown. Come on, put your hands together for him. Congregation, Apostle Lemoy. Apostle Lemoy, yeah. congregation, God bless you. He's the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. Say, He alone is worthy of all praise. Come on, where my people at? Cados, Cados. Yeah. Cados, Cados, Cados. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Cados, Cados. Cados, Cados, Cados. He's the Lamb of God, yeah. Come on, it's very easy. He alone, he alone is worthy of all praise. Say, Kadosh, 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 Kadosh. Hey, Lord. 
God, you're worthy. Yeah. Kados, 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 Kados. He's the Lamb of God, yeah. He's the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. Yeah. You're the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. He alone, He alone is worthy of all praise. Kadosh! 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 Oh, He paid the price. And so now He's reigning as King. Hey, He's the Lamb. Of God who sits up Come on, we decree and declare. Say he alone is worthy. Say, he's the Lamb of God, yeah. He's the Lamb of God. Can you wave your hand in his presence, everybody? Come on, from the eldest to the youngest, lift it. Just wave your hands. He alone is worthy of praise. Come on, you are the Lamb of God, oh. He's the Lamb of God who sits up on the throne. Jesus, you alone, God. He alone is worthy of praise. You're the Lamb of God, yeah. Lamb of God who sits upon the throne, you alone, he alone is worthy of all praise. If you know he's worthy, if you know he's serve a worthy God, come on, if you know he's serve a worthy God, can you forget about yourself for a minute, just give God what is due to him? Come on, lift up your voices one more time, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where are the people of God? You have won. For me, so death could not hold you down. You are the reason, King. Oh, Holy Spirit, you're seated in magic. Oh, we worship you. you are the reason, we give the glory. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 For you have won the victory. Take your eyes off me. Place your eyes on the Lord Jesus. Hey. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You have won it all for me. So death could not hold. This part. 
Our God is risen. Yes, He's alive. He won the victory. He reigned on high. Our God is risen. Yes, He's alive. He won the victory. Yes, he's alive. He won the victory. He went on. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You have won. You have won the victory. Come on, let's collectively together. Hallelujah. 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 For you have won. You see that in majesty. You are, you are, you are the reason. Jesus, we thank you by your spirit today. We exalt and extol your name. We shabak you, O God. Rebecca Satura Bahande. Mashatura Bahande Kitaya. We decree and declare that you have called us for such a time as this. And we know that you are here. We decree and declare that your Holy Spirit is in our midst. The angels that you have assigned to us, they are here. Hallelujah. Father, we command a release now of your power. We need your power. We need your power. We need your power. For the power and the glory, it belongs to you. You will never fail. Sanctify us even now, Father. Let your word come forth with power and clarity. Touch somebody. Touch somebody. Touch somebody. Hey, mighty God. Let someone be set free today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know, yes, I know, he holds. My future and life is worth a living just because he lives. Do you know he's alive? Come on, do you believe that he lives? Come on, do you believe that he lives? Do you believe that he lives? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He lives inside of you. The Bible says he ascended above all the heavens that he may fill all things. And that includes you. That includes the shoes that you have on right now. That includes the clothes you have on right now. That he may fill all things. He's inside of you. He's walking with you. Paul says, for me to die, for me to live is Christ. For me to die is gain. So you are living today because Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Hallelujah. While you're standing, while you're standing, it's an awesome privilege for us to gather together in this fashion. 
We celebrate, we celebrate the death, the burial, and more so, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Mohammed died, and he, oh, you're not preaching with me yet, and he's still dead. Selassie died, and he's still dead. Krishna died, and he's still dead. Big Belly Buddha died, and he's still dead. But Jesus died. And he's alive. Oh, somebody need to celebrate. Hallelujah. The grave is a witness. He arose from the grave. Oh, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Ah, we give the Lord praise. We big him up today. We big up the Lord today. Amen. Isaiah chapter 53. Uh, Isaiah chapter 53. We're going to read from verse number 6 right through to number 9. Come on, are we all standing? Are we all standing? Can we stand in the house together? We reverence the presence of the Lord when we come in his house. When you all go to the parties, you stand for six hours, eight hours, nobody complain. And this is not the place where you should sit down and dishonor God. This is God's house. So we thank God for us and obedience. Amen. Isaiah chapter 53, verses number 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. Mm. All we like what? Mm. Sheep have no sense of direction. Mm. Hallelujah. We, uh, we went astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Mm. And the Lord... Laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed. He was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He's brought as a lamb to the slaughter. As a sheep before her shearers is dumb. Some of us talk too much. For he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who hath declared his generation? For he was cut off. I want you to get this. He was cut off out of the land of the living. Why? For the transgression of you. All you handsome, beautiful people. It was because of you and I. He was stricken. Are you there? Verse number nine. And he made his grave with the wicked. He had to have done it. Hello? And with the rich in his death. Hello? Even in his death, he was rich. When he was born, they gave him what? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And many folks will say, okay, as Christians, we are supposed to be poor. But yet still, when Jesus was born, watch this. When he was born and the, the, the baby being birthed in a manger, it's not because they wanted to have been amongst um, goats and sheep. It's because the hotels were filled to capacity. The Bible says that there was no room in the inn. Inns were hotels. So, it, so he, he, he was not poor. Hello? His father was a carpenter, a rich man. So in his birth, he was rich. Riches were released unto him. And even in his death, if you, if you all don't know the story, the man named Joseph from Arimatha, he was a rich man. 
And he presented the tomb for Jesus to be buried. The tomb that was not used by anybody. So even amongst the dead, he was buried rich. I need to, I need to shift your mindset a little bit right now. Because as of today, your lives will be different. Ah, you don't hear me today. I said, as you shift your mindset today from poverty mentality, your minds are going to be changed. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, today you will not be the same as of today. I, I feel in my spirit, I need, I need to read the remaining three verses. Verse number 10 says, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Hmm? He has put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many. For he shall, be, for he shall bear their iniquities. I want us to look at what verse 12 is saying. Therefore, will I divide a portion with the great? And he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he hath poured out his soul unto death. And he was numbered with the transgressors. And he bare the sin of many. And made intercessions for the transgressors. Verse number 12 says, he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Come on, say neighbor. If you are weak, you will not get spoiled. Come on, talk to somebody. Say neighbor. If you are a weak person, you will not get the spoil. Amen. Spoils were divided amongst people that fought battles. Spoils were given to people that were able to fight wars. So if you're a weak Christian, don't expect to partake of the spoils that God has released in the atmosphere right now. Come on, say, neighbor, I'm going to get my spoil. Ah, you're going to get your spoil because Jesus died that so you might get the spoil. Oh, this is another message for another, another, another resurrection Sunday. But I want to, so to look to somebody in the eye and say, neighbor, death is not the end. Come on, talk to somebody. Say, neighbor, death is not the end. See this for a few. Be seated for a few. I want to greet the Holy Spirit. And to all our leaders in our midst, our ministers, Minister Sue, Minister Robert, amen, Minister Samantha, and Minister Lopez. Glory to God. Our evangelists, Germans, and Roberts, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Beckford, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, to God be the glory. Jesus, amen, glory to God, to our church mothers in the house, amen, and our board members, the Lord God bless you richly, hallelujah, hallelujah, and to all our visitors that are here, as um, I think it was Pastor Abby said that you all are looking beautiful today, amen, the, the, the Lord bless you, you all are looking beautiful today, but the plumber you're looking sharp. <laughs> yes, sir. Hallelujah. Brother, Brother Noah, you're looking sharp. Ah, glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Pastor Mulgrave, everybody. Come on, clap your hands for Pastor Mulgrave, our assistant pastor. And of course, our beautiful wife, Pastor Abby Amanda Smith Brown. <laughs> Come on, clap your hands together for her one more time. To all our guests, we greet you. I bless you. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord Jesus. Amen. You are in for a treat today by the grace of God. Amen. Let me embark a little bit on um, this coming week, starting tomorrow. As a matter of fact, tonight is a midnight prayer. Mm -hmm. Midnight prayer. For those of you who love to sleep. Midnight prayer, just half an hour, just half an hour. Join in 12 o'clock for midnight prayer tonight. Amen. We'll be gathering on our conference line. Hallelujah. 
And then um, from the first to the seventh, as the Lord has directed me for every person that can be a part of the seven days of fasting and prayer. And this that we'll be doing, it's, it's for our, our family members that are not saved. It's not for yourself. It's for your community, those souls that are not saved. Amen. We are going to be interceding for them. Our prayer will be from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. No food, no water between that period. You will not die. Look at the neighbor. Say, neighbor, you won't die. You won't, brother, woman, you won't die. Let me tell you, fasting is a mental thing. Oh, you have nice cool AC here, so I'm going to feel hot up there. There's fire on my altar, oh. Hallelujah. 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 Fasting is a mental strategy or a mental. And if you learn to master this, you will overcome anything in life. Eh? If you can deny yourself for food for six, how many hours is it? 12, 14 hours? 12 hours? Six hours. Six hours. Eight hours. 12 hours. The devil is a liar. Amen? Hallelujah! If you can deny yourself for food for 12 hours, brothers and sisters, when the enemy comes in like a flood, oh God, you have that spiritual strategy, the spiritual stamina to resist the enemy. And God, I negotiate with, with God on your behalf. So you, you must give God thanks and praise. Because the Bible says these kinds go not out but by prayer and by fasting. How many of you have seen results through fasting? Mm. Alright, so, 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 so we see how many hands were raised. Just a few. So that means one of the reasons why you have not been seeing results is because you refuse to fast. When pastor and prophets call fasting and you're not partaking in the fasting and you're still going through the struggles, no, you know why. No, you know why. Because you're not participating. Even to try and say, okay, let me do the first six hours and see how it works. See how my body react to it. And then you tell yourself, okay, well, I've completed six. I'm going to do another hour. And then another hour. And then, it's a mindset thing. I did seven days, no food, no water in January. And many folks thought I was going to die. Because, you know, th this little flesh lost some more weight. But God kept me. And I'm still here. Hello? We did seven days, just juice in uh, February. And a lot, of, a lot of folks cried. But I negotiated with God for you. You're going to be doing six to six, no food, no water. But after six, you can have your nice meal. Don't be gluttonous. That's all I'm asking of you. Yeah, don't, after you finish fasting like myself, you run to the house. <laughs> and the Burger Kings and the McDonald's. Because you have to treat your body good, all right? Eat some fruits, drink some nice warm tea, you know, and um, soup, Amen. Don't be gluttonous. And then after that, you can eat something tangible to keep you to go through the next day. But it's one meal for the day. Can we, can we do that? Yes. Can we do that? Yes. Amen. Somebody show with me one more time. Say, neighbor, yes. death yes. is not the end. Yes. Hallelujah. What is death? What is death? What is death? In humans, um, and we have to say humans because animals don't carry this. Are you with me? It's physical, the separation, physical separation. Hallelujah. Separation from the immaterial part of one's body. And the spirit, the soul, separates from the human body. Hallelujah. According to James chapter 2 and verse 26, the Bible says, the body without the spirit 
is dead. Can we say that together? The body without the spirit is I'm not hearing this side. Can we say it together? The body without the spirit is dead. Amen. So that's simply put where death is concerned. The spirit and the soul missing from the physical structure. This house that God has given to us. Hallelujah. We see where God first pronounced death upon man in the garden. And this death was as a result of mankind's disobedience. They disobeyed God and they ate of the fruit. And God says, you shall surely die. Now, this death in the, in, in the first sense was more of a spiritual sentence. Are you listening to me? It was a spiritual sentence because, as I said before, when one dies, your soul and your spirit separates itself from your body so in essence you are first a spirit man that god breathe his breath his aura into you glory to jesus hallelujah and so the breath that you breathe it is the spirit of god amen so when one dies it is the spirit that leaves your body and so that body becomes dead so god pronounce a spirit Spiritual, somebody says spiritual sentence. Somebody says spiritual sentence. Uh, but watch this. What is happening to the spirit, it also is reflected on the outside. So if one's spirit is dying, then your flesh will also reflect. Oh, you're not hearing me. Are you with me, somebody? So, so God pronounced a spiritual eternal sentence on mankind because of that one time they disobeyed. Amen. But watch this. So in, in other words, from the time of Adam, humanity was on the road to hell. So everyone that was born from Adam's lineage, amen, they were under a sentence, under a thing that is called a curse. Is called death. Uh, you're looking beautiful in your layer. Yo. God bless you, mommy plumber. God placed a sentence on man because of sin. Uh, hallelujah. And we realize that Adam lived over 900 years. But because of the sentence that was placed on him, his lifespan began reducing. Hallelujah. Then after him, men started amen, living below that 900 mark until it reached a point when, when God stopped man from living beyond 120 years. Imagine the sentence of death was in effect. Hallelujah. Uh, but God so loved us that he looked on us on the path to an eternal punishment. He said, oh no, I love man so dearly. I've got to do something that they can be saved. And so God first instituted the sacrificing of animals where the blood was shed for the span or for the sake, oh glory to God, of man's sin. Oh, because God needed a sacrifice to recompense or to reconcile man to himself. Oh, but the time came that God get fed up with the offering of blood and bullocks and turtle doves and cows and God says I got to do something and he, he, he placed himself in human form and took on that physical man and came in the form of his son Jesus Christ and that's what the Bible says, just as oh, uh, the, the, the priest would normally receive the lamb, Jesus became a lamb to the... Are you with me now? So Jesus now became that lamb that would have been positioned or offered for the sake of man's sin. So he came as a lamb to the slaughter. And the Bible says before his shearers, he was dumb. He said nothing because lambs need to be humble. Lambs need to know their place. Come on somebody. And Jesus knew what his place was. He knew what his task was. Oh praise God. 
God. But the Lord said to tell you today that what the price that Jesus paid on the cross for you, he did something where he tied or he shed his own blood. Praise God. Hallelujah. Everyone thought that it was over when they nailed him to the cross. Everyone thought that this was the end as they saw the earthquake shaking, as they heard the thunderings, as they heard and seen and saw the lightnings. They thought this was the total end for humanity. But Jesus knew it all. Oh, praise God, because he was buried. But on the third day, he came out of the grave. I'm here to tell you today, church, whatever it is that you have been going through, you are about to come out of it. You are about to arise out of that situation. Oh God, the Lord gave me a word for you today. So many things have been dead in your lives. So many things have been hindered. So many things have been buried. I don't know who I'm talking to. Or your finances has been buried. Or your green cards have been buried. Oh, praise God. Your marriage has been buried. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. But I'm here to tell you that there is about to be a rolling away of the stone. There is about to be a coming out. Oh God, of that grave situation. Oh God Almighty. You wonder why you cannot progress. You wonder why you cannot move forward. It's because you are in a prison. You are in a grave situation. But God said to tell you, death is not the final end because there is one thing that God is about to destroy and that is the enemy that is called death. Oh, death is your enemy. Death is your enemy. And God says, I'm about to destroy it because death shall have no power over you. Oh, but because Jesus lives, I can face tomorrow because Jesus lives all my fear is gone I'm speeding up because time is really going hallelujah somebody said death is not the end death is not the end hallelujah hallelujah Watch this. When you become a child of God, the Bible tells me in 1 John chapter 3 and verse number 14 that we have now been passed from death unto life. Oh, glory to Jesus. You have now taken on a new thing. As the Bible says, they that are in Christ Jesus, you are a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all have become new. So if your family, oh, everyone never passed. 70 years old because you are now in Jesus you shall live past a hundred you shall live past a hundred and twenty because greater is he that is inside me than he that is in the world I wish somebody can catch this I shall not die oh God but I shall live to declare the glory of the Lord I decree and declare every limitation that has been hanging over your head Oh God, it shall be broken today. Every gravestone, it shall be rolled away today. Somebody say, roll away the stone. Roll away the stone. Watch this. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 I have some pointers as it relates to death, but I can't even touch it. Glory to God. I have about 12 pointers as it relates to death, but I can't go into it right now. I promise you maybe next year, God's willing, we will go, we will go into it. Hallelujah. Because the Lord gave me some word for, 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 for Resurrection Sunday. He gave me a word about the betrayal. Hey, but that's for next year. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. I struggle between the betrayal. Amen. And death is not the end. And God says talk about death is being not the end. Because some of you among me today. Your family has been going through some dead situations. As I prayed and as I, as I, as I met 
meditated upon this. I saw some of your names being buried in some bottles or in the rivers. Some of your names in sea bottoms. Some of your names and your photographs. The enemy has buried it in some graves. And you wonder why I cannot progress. But I decree and declare today as Christ rose from the dead, I prophesy to you that you are about to be elevated. Look at your neighbor and your neighbor. I am about to be elevated. I am about to be promoted. I am about to advance right now. Look at your neighbor and your neighbor. I am unstoppable. You cannot stop me. I have resurrection power inside of me. The songwriter says, you can't keep a good man down. You pick me up, you'll knock me down seven times. I'm going to get back up again because I've got the resurrection power. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, God, you talk bad about me, but your tongue cannot stop me. Oh, God Almighty, for no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Oh, God, my God, they look at you and they thought that you would have failed by now but look at somebody say neighbor there is no failure in me there is no failure in me i've got victory inside my bones i've got resurrection power inside my bones watch this mm. jesus as he ministered while being in the earth we saw he raised dead people Hey, anytime he was around a funeral, mm, somebody, funeral mashup, are you with me, are you with me? He was entering into a certain place, hallelujah, the, 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 the Syrophenian woman, close, Syrophenian woman, hallelujah, and she said, sir, my son is dead, hallelujah, Jesus says, step aside, hallelujah, the cross, and the woman's son was, was raised from the dead, instantly, I'm here to tell you, whatever you are going through, there is a man by the name of Jesus, for at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall, oh come on, you're not helping me, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, hey, do you have a battle fighting right now, do you have some enemies right now, oh I command you to open your mouth and decree it, I shall live and I shall not die, I am blessed, I am highly favored. Jesus best friend by the name of Lazarus whom he loved. Lazarus died, hallelujah. They came to Jesus and said, sir, your favorite person is dead. Oh God, Jesus said to them, listen, if you know who I am, you will not worry yourself. Oh, come on somebody, when you know the God that you serve, you don't worry about anything because death is not the end. Jesus looked at them and said, listen, he's not dead, he's only sleeping. It's a neighbor. Oh God, we shall only sleep for a minute. Oh God, but we shall not us. I wish I got some Bible scholars. We shall not all sleep. Oh God, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Oh God Almighty. Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is? If you are afraid to die, I'm sorry. If you are afraid to die, I am sorry. Because you have power over death. You have power over, someone said, I have power over death. Come on, shout it out, let the world hear you. I have power over death. Say, I have power over death. Paul says, for me to live is Christ. Watch this. And for me to die is gain. Some of you have it the opposite way. You think that being here is gaining. Being alive in this world is, is, is gaining. But to live in this world, you need Christ. 
But if you die in Christ, you are gaining. How would you feel to know that you have no more misery to deal with in this world? How would you feel to know that you are going to be with your creator, living in his presence? That's something that should be marvelous to think about. But, 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 but we allow ourselves to be so caught up in this world and in the pleasures of this world. Hallelujah. Not understanding that, amen, the, 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 the death of the saints is a pleasure in the sight of God. Somebody said, death is not the end. There is an enemy that's called death. Can we find it? I believe it's second, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Let's find it quickly. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15. Hallelujah. The last enemy, verse 26. So you, if you never know, now you know. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Death is an enemy. Death came about as a result of sin. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says the strength of sin is the law and the sting, the sting of death is sin. When sin is finished, it brings forth death. When lust is conceived, it brings forth sin. And when sin is finished, it brings forth death. Are you there with me? Hallelujah. So the last enemy that Christ will destroy is death. So Lazarus was raised from the dead after being buried for four long days. His flesh rotted and decayed. Centipedes and millipedes ate it all up. But imagine Jesus came on the scene and, and called his name in the realm of the spirit. Wherever Lazarus went, he had to come back. I am prophesying to you today. Whatever has left you, whatever was denied from you, hey, wherever it is located, it is coming back. Oh, glory to Jesus. It is, somebody say, it is coming back. It is coming back. It is coming back. Jesus told them, watch this, watch this. Jesus commanded them, he says, roll away the stone. Somebody says, stone. Come on, lift your voices and say, stone, be rolled away. Say, stone, I command you, be rolled away. Rolled away. I'm going to show you something. Now, God appeared to Moses. God appeared to Moses. Uh, somebody said, Jesus, Jesus is, is the rock, the rock. Of, ages. of ages. Come on, one more time. Say, so Jesus is. The rock, of ages. the rock of ages. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Then we're going to close. Amen. Exodus 33 and verses 21 through to 23. Exodus 33 verses 21 through to 23. Glory to God. God called Moses. And God told Moses, Moses, I'm going to show you a little bit of myself. I'm going to reveal a portion of myself to you. My glory you shall see. But this is what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to place you on the rock. Mm. Uh, some of you in the spirit, you will know where I'm going with this. God says, Moses, I need you to go on the rock. Because when I'm coming, and if you see me, you're going to die. 
So God placed him on the rock. And the Bible says, as the presence of God passed by, amen, God hid Moses in the cleft of the rock. Ah, glory to Jesus. As we study the scriptures, we realize that when God told Moses to speak to the rock, because of Moses' anger, he struck the rock and God was upset with him. Come on, somebody. Why? Because the rock represented Jesus. Jesus is the rock of a ages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus was with Peter and the apostles and he says, who do you say that I am? Peter says, thou art Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Oh, Jesus looked at him and says, sir, oh God, flesh and blood could not reveal this to you, but my father in heaven, Jesus said to him, up on this rock, oh God almighty, I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell oh, will not prevail against it. In other words, if Jesus Christ is the rock, that means you are also a rock. Oh God Almighty, you are also a rock because you are in him and he is inside you. Oh God, we are here and join here with him. Come on somebody. So you will not fail because you have the rock of ages with you. Yeah. Psalm 62 and verse 6. Psalm 62 and verse 6. Psalm 62 and verse 6. He only is my rock and my salvation. Hello? Who is our rock? Who is our rock? Jesus is our rock. He's our stronghold. And we will not be shaken. Look, look somebody in their eye and say, listen, I will not be shaken. Look some in, in the look in the eye and say, I will not be shaken. Even if you don't like me, I will not be shaken. Oh, glory to Jesus, because I am on the rock. Ah, uh, anybody know about building a house? Mm. When you lay a foundation with concrete, you cannot build on concrete and by using uh, dirt. You need either building blocks or more cement or stone. Are you with me, somebody? And so it is with us being in Christ Jesus. He is the solid foundation. He is the rock. And as we build, we build with him. We build on our God Almighty. We build on top of him. He says, I am the chief cornerstone of God. And the stone that the builders rejected. Oh, some of you have been rejected. But you are now in him and you have become a rock you have become the cornerstone oh God is about to elevate you God is about to use you you are about to explode you are coming out hey somebody say I'm coming out I'm coming out I'm coming down I'm coming down mm -hmm. Isaiah 26 and verse 4 Isaiah 26 and verse 4. I want two visitors to come back, so let me try to finish quickly. Isaiah 26 and verse 4. Trust in the Lord forever. He is your fortress, your shield, your banner. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Hello? The Lord God is an everlasting rock. The rock of ages. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Catch this. The Bible says Jesus was crucified. He was pierced in his side. Mm. At the evening hour, he was taken down from the cross. And he was laid in a tomb. Follow me. And he was laid in a tomb that was specially made for a rich family. So when they died, they could have used it. No one used this tomb before. As a matter of fact, Joseph went and begged for Jesus' body. Went and begged so he could have been buried. Amen. So, so, so they, they, they could not... 
you know, tricked you know, the system and, and say anything else. Because even in the whole story, they plotted against his death burial and resurrection even to this day amen when he rose from the dead they said tell the people that somebody came and stole his body and they were paid money watch me somebody ah but the bible says uh, that when jesus was buried he rose from the third day i want you to catch this when Mary and Martha, when they went to the tomb to see where he was laid. Oh, glory to God. The Bible says that there were some angels that were there. There was thundering and earthquakes. Hallelujah. And the stone rolled away. The angel were the one that rolled the stone away. Just so the woman could have seen that Jesus was actually missing. It was not because of the angels rolling away the stone that caused Jesus to come out of the grave oh God almighty catch the revelation Jesus being the rock of all ages he was in the midst of rocks ah, and the rocks could not have held him oh come out somebody how can a rock hold on a rock I tell you today the enemy has been trying to hold you down but because you have the rock of ages with you you are about to burst out Oh God Almighty, you are about to be released. You are about to experience a blessing that you have never experienced before. Jesus came out of the grave without having to roll any stone. He walked through the rocks. Come on, somebody. You are powerful. You are great. For greater is he that is inside of you than he that is in the world. I decree and declare or oh, change your mindset change your posture change your heart because God is with you mm. hallelujah I saw I saw a photograph of a papaya tree or a video a papaya tree in Africa. Hallelujah. Hey, I believe they built the foundation of the house on where the papaya tree seed was sown. Come on, somebody. But because the papaya tree was determined to make it, do I got anybody inside you that is determined to make it? Amen. Even though the foundation was laid, the papaya tree decided, I'm going to come up and I'm going to grow. I'm going to bear fruit. Oh, come on, somebody. I am going to live. Do I got anybody inside here that decide that I don't care what they say about me? I am going to grow. I am going to bear fruit. I am going to blossom. Oh, I saw on the video, the papa tree was actually growing on top of the blocks. Some of you, you have allowed people's mouth keep you down you have allowed the eyes of people because some folks look at you so hard is she about you uh. you have allowed the eyes of people to stop you mm. you become so intimidated and you have allowed yourself to be so entrapped in that grave. But watch this. The Bible tells me in Revelation. That God shall cast death and hell into the lake of fire. Death is not the end. Don't be scared. Don't be perturbed. It's just a sleeping phase. Because we shall not all sleep, as I said before. But we shall all be changed in a moment. Jesus, listen, everything that Jesus did, it was an example that we follow. And if he died and conquered death, we shall conquer death too. Hello. Have no fear. Have no fear. You are more than a conqueror. Let me
going to read one scripture and then we're going to stand. And stand together. Let's stand as a matter of fact. Jesus tells a story in Matthew chapter 7 and verse 25. He said there were some people that build or builded their houses. Some builded their houses on the sand and some on some shaky ground. And some builded their houses on the rock. The wind, the waves, the storm came, thrust it against it. Those that were built on the sand, they were washed away. Those that were built on the shaky ground, they were easily moved. But the ones that built their houses on the rock, they stood firm. Where is your faith today? What have you built your houses on? What have you built your faith on? Do you have confidence in God enough to know that because he died for you, you shall overcome anything, any obstacle, any storm? How many of you will make it your duty as of today to develop a spirit of boldness knowing that because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all my fears are gone because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all fear because I know he owns the future and life is worth the living just because he lives because On, shout with me, say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Come on, lift the voices and say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Uh, I'm not hearing you. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Today, Today I, take a stand I take a stand over my life, over my life. In, the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Every tomb, every, tomb. every grave, every grave. that has held me bound for the past years, for the past I command. I come the grave, the grave to be open, to be open. I, command I command every grave, every grave to be open and let me out. I am coming out, am coming out of every tomb, every tomb in the mighty name of, the name of Jesus. Come on, say, loose me, loose me, loose me, loose me, in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare freedom over you. Freedom over you. Freedom over you. Some of you have been going through generational curses. Some of you have been experiencing evil arrows. Witchcraft. 
Somebody say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Uh, come on, lift your voice and say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. I break witchcraft from my life. Oh Lord. I break witchcraft. Come on, open your mouth and say, I break witchcraft. Every evil patterns. Every evil decrees. I break it. I break it. I break it. I command the favor, the blessings. I command the prosperity of the Lord to be released upon me now. Shall be released upon me now. Come on, lift your hands towards heaven. Lift your hands and say, I am blessed. I am blessed. My hands are blessed. My feet, they are blessed. I am, I am blessed and I am highly favored by God. You are blessed in Jesus' name. You are blessed in Jesus' name. You are blessed in Jesus' name. You are no longer in the grave. You are coming out. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Quickly, I gotta pray for a few folks. And then we're gonna do a first fruit offering. Please um, be patient with me. Hallelujah. Sir, please, behind by, um, by, the, by the Marvin, gentleman behind by the Marvin, please bring your family with you. Yes, sir, please. I wanna pray for you as well, mommy. Can you come? quickly. If you don't want me to pray for you, it's okay. You can stay in your seat, please. But if you want me to pray for you, please, come as I call you. bless you. Thank you so much for coming. The Lord bless you richly. Amen. Is this your daughter? This is your, your mom. Praise God. Were you married before? You weren't? Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. I see where the Lord wants to, to do something special for you. Because there has been a struggle emotionally. There has been a struggle emotionally. And that emotional struggle has also stemmed into a spiritual struggle. And sometimes we fall into relationships and through, through mishaps and misfortunes, things that transpired in the relationships, it begins to affect us, amen, in the long run. Hallelujah. But I hear God say to tell you, that which has been holding you back from moving forward, amen, into your blessing, that grave-like situation that have kept you bound for so many years, God says, I am about to do something new in you. Do you have a church home? Is this your first time here? First time. Jesus. The hurt, this is what I'm hearing in my spirit. The hurt and the pain. God wants to heal you from that. Are you hearing? What's your name? Ali. God wants to heal you from that, my brother. Mend the broken pieces and put it back together. Will you allow Jesus to do that? He wants to do that for you. There is not one broken vessel. God can mend. Come here, come here. Come close. He will be your friend. He'll pick up the pieces. Time, time, time. 
One more time. There is not one broken vessel that God can make. He will be your friend. He's picking up the broken pieces for you. the Lord wants to do the same for you and even more. The broken pieces. Have you given your life to the Lord Jesus as yet? Have you been baptized? Since you're a baby? You know. God wants to set you free. Because I see also there is a, a grave-like situation. Hindrances. Struggles. That's going on in your family, in your life. And though you think that you have it all together, God wants to do even way more for you. Are you hearing me? The place where you are right now, you should have been further. Are you with me? Where you are right now, you should have been further ahead. But the enemy has had, had launched some arrows, attacks, Against your spiritual attacks. Some of them you have won some battles, and some of them they overpowered you. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come against every demonic stronghold that have tampered with your future and your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to every strongholds to let you go, to set you free now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I speak freedom over you. Can you lift your hands for me, please, if you don't mind? Father, I speak life over her. I speak amending of every broken pieces. Set her free in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heal every wounded spirit. Heal every wounded spirit right now. As you came out of the grave, oh Father, I call her for now out of every grave clothes. I command total freedom. In the name of Jesus, help her to look to you now. To be totally restored and set free. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Come here, Ali. Give me a hand. The Lord loves you. And he cares for you. I don't know you. I didn't even know it was evangelists that invited you. But God knows everything about us. That which we think that nobody knows. He knows and he cares. And this I want to encourage you. If you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus, do it now. Give him your heart. Because he says, give me your heart and I will give you my father's kingdom. Are you hearing me? I speak healing over you. 
I speak healing over your life. And everything the enemy has caused you to be robbed of because of the pain and the hurt. I command a restoration to be your portion now in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, restore now. Restore me now. Say, Lord Jesus, heal me now. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for healing me. I thank you for blessing me. Save me now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for his strength. I pray that his mind will be strengthened. Mighty God, every brokenness, I speak wholeness over him now, God. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. As I anoint his head, Father, I decree and declare he's heavily protected. He's heavily guarded. No more failure. No more failure. No more failure in Jesus' name. And even those that, watch me, look at me. Look at me. Even those that desired for you to fail. Those that thought that you would have died long time ago. Because they thought that without, without them, without them you are nothing. But God is going to elevate you. God is going to lift you up. So your enemies can see him working in you. Father, I cause it to be so. I speak elevation over him. Salvation over him. Restoration and healing. In Jesus' name. Come here, mommy and granddaughter, I believe. Come. Lift your hands, sweetheart. Just lift your hands like both hands. I bless you. I bless you. In the name of Jesus, I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Every power of the enemy that has been plaguing your mind and your spirit and even your dreams. In Jesus' name, I curse it to the root. I speak the grace of God over this child. Father, I thank you for peace. Thank you for grace and love. In Jesus' name. Lift your hands, Grandma. Lift the hands. I pray for her strength now, Father. I pray her strength now, Holy Spirit. God, I pray. Touch. Touch. Yes, Father, touch. For even through the whole ordeal, she felt the pain and the hurt as well. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will send healing now for her. Restore this family. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord loves you. Thank you so much for coming. Amen. You may go back to your seat. Sister Patrice, can you come quickly? Just, and this is the last thing I'm doing. And then we do, yes, we have one more to do. Come quickly, daughter. Can I prophesy to you? As she celebrated her birthday, I should have done this last week, but it, it fell through the cracks. Hold well, a second, um, uh, skilled musician. What are you fretting for? Uh, something good coming, man. As she celebrated her birthday, was it last week? Was it last week? In the maze of last week. Somebody posted a photograph with her in her pants and in a, was it a green shirt, a green shirt in her pants. And as I looked at her, Pastor, as I looked on the photograph, I kid you not, I saw a ring on her finger. As I looked at the photograph, I saw a ring. The Lord showed me a ring on your left finger. I prophesy to you today in this house. Engagement is coming. Marriage is coming. In the name of Jesus. I release it upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen.
I'm not telling you who it is. Don't worry. Come quickly. There's a man or two. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sister Pauline, can you come quickly? If you all were smart, if you, if, if you were looking for a husband, you would receive it too. <laughs> you receive it, minister? <laughs> hey. Let's, let me tell you something. Sisters, daughters of this house, hear me carefully. I'm, I'm making an announcement. If you are not married in this house, do not force yourself on any man. The Bible says, he that findeth a wife, find it a good thing. Don't be the dry peas. Be the, be the what? The good thing. Amen. He that finds a wife, find it a good thing. Let man run you down. You don't run on no man. You might take up what is not yours. And you end up in trouble. Because that man was not for you. Wait patiently on the Lord Jesus. Somebody say, wait patiently. Okay, public announcement. Amen. Sister Paul in Phillips, um, she took her baptism week before last week. Last week, we, for, we, for, um, we forgot to present it to you. But... I feel in my spirit, somebody's boas is coming in. Yes, I just, I, just, I just can't get past it. Somebody's boas is coming. Yeah, if, you say, if you say amen, it is yours. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Go ahead, Pastor. Sister Pauline, are you ready for your boas? All right, good. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Prophet said to receive it, even if it's not you he's talking to. You have to receive it in Jesus' name. And so Liberty Vision of Hope Restoration Center here in Mount Vernon, we certify that Sister Pauline Phillips, she confessed her faith in Jesus Christ, and upon the confession of her faith, she was baptized on April 16th and is hereby awarded this certificate of baptism. Amen. 2023. It was on the... Wait, April 16 not come yet. This is supposed to say March 16. March 17, Pastor. So, she was baptized on April 16. Oh, we need, we need to adjust that. Because we need to adjust that. Yes, man. So, we're going to do it the right way. She was bapti baptized on March 16, 2023. Amen. And is hereby awarded this certificate of baptism. 2024. 2024. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Can we edit this thing? It's gone all over the lives. Amen. Certificate of baptism. And we're presenting to, to her today. Hi. And she want to... Look at this. She's ready to receive her right hand of fellowship. She's ready to receive we'll her right hand of fellowship. We'll do that next week, Sunday, Sister Paul. Amen. Come, come, come. Hey, just, hey, hey. Just come in your Sunday best. Next week, Sunday. Right hand of fellowship. Amen. Amen. Can we celebrate God for her? Can we get the paparazzi to take a good picture? Come on, Minister Sue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands for her, somebody. 
Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. I was, I was begged to do this. Uh, and I got to do it. Please bear with me, Sister Jelaine and her kids. Can you please come quickly? She came last week by herself. And this week she brought her, her kids and probably neighbors are good, you know, close friends. Please come. Is, who is she to you? Oh, your daughter came. And your daughter's a friend. Glory to Jesus. Come on, young man. You put on your shoes. All right, good. <laughs> I want to just send a, a big shout out to our friends in Africa. We have um, a, pro a prophet, Omoso, that's watching us. Amen. From Kenya, we have um, a prophet, Stanley Wakomo, from Nigeria, that's tuned into our lives. And all those who are online, the Lord bless you. Amen. God bless you richly. Praise the Lord. I believe this is a house of solution. I believe this is a house of restoration. Amen. Were you blessed being here today? You're not happy, no man. Were you blessed being here today? Amen. We are happy that you were able to make it in the house of the Lord. Amen. David, the psalmist says, I was glad when they say unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know me? You don't know me? Come closer, Pastor. Come on, Pastor Abitu. I want you to join, join hands together. I'm going to pray over you. Sir, sir, can you come on the side of your mom, please? I want my leaders to stand with me and to help me to pray for these two, these so this family. This word is for this family as well. Because the devil has entrapped so many things for them. So many blessings, so many favor that has been put to death but today we're going to command it to be resurrected. Today we're going to command the grave to be open up for them. So every blessing, every favor, it will be unto them. It will be their portion. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, um, Pastor Abby. I'm going to anoint your hand and you're going to just lay hands on, on them. In Jesus' mighty name. Both hands. In Jesus' mighty name. I want you to lift your face as you're here with me. I guarantee you, for the next few weeks, as we pray today, as we pray today, within the next few weeks, you shall have testimonies. I say, within the next few weeks, you shall have testimonies. You shall come back and say, church, because the prayer was prayed. And I believe this happened, that happened. God did this, God did that. You shall testify. When God does it, don't keep it inside. Tell the word what the Lord has done. And as Pastor Abile, her hands upon you. Amen. Lift your face and receive as we come together in faith. Go ahead, woman of God, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Every power of the enemy must back up right now. Are you praying with us? Every grave closed has got to be taken off. Every stone has to be rolled away. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we command everything that has been held up. Let it be released right now. Let it be released right now. Purpose must live. 
purpose must live. Purpose must live. Purpose must live. Father, as we lay hands upon them, do for them that which seems impossible. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. It is done. It is done. Look at me. It is done. It is done. Favor shall follow you. You shall begin to experience a, pro a propelling spirit. Watch me. You shall begin to experience a spirit of advancement. A spirit of acceleration. Where you were experiencing delays and disappointments and setbacks, it is no more. Somebody says no more. It, I come on, church. It is no more. Favor is your portion. You shall experience blessings in abundance. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you. You may go back to your seats. Glory to God. We have come to the very special part. We have come to the very special part where we will be honoring the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When folks are asked to give money to the church, my leaders and I, we had a meeting on Saturday. And, and when people are given, they say, well, I'm not giving my money to them. I am not giving my money to them or to the pastor. I am just a representative for God and that which you are doing you are not doing it unto me but you are doing it unto the Lord are you there with me you are doing it unto the Lord Can, can somebody find um, 1 Corinthians? Can you go back to 1 Corinthians 15? 1 Corinthians 15, verses 20, 20, 23. Find 1 Corinthians 15, verse 20. In your obedience, you will get a blessing. Good to see you, Loy. Good to see you and your friend and your family. God bless you for coming. It is a blessing to give than to receive. Are we there? What does it say? But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. Jesus is the first fruit. And over the years, the Lord has laid it on my heart for us to do a first fruit offering on Resurrection Sunday every year. And I promise you, as you partake, participate in this, you'll never lose. You will never lose. Because as you honor what Jesus did for us by sowing your first fruit offering, and what we have requested is just one week's salary. I know you all have bills to pay. You all have car notes and mortgages and all of these things. But God says wherever your heart is, that's where your treasure will be also. And as you trust God with your money, he will give you an abundance of riches. And I'm going to ask every person that can right now, if you have made the effort to put together that one week's salary, 
or the very best that you can. I'm going to ask you to come with it. And I'm going to pray a very special prayer over it. You see, I am the founder of this ministry. I am the prophet of this house. I am not telling you to do something that I'm not doing myself. I am leading by example. Why? Because I have reaped the benefit of being a part of it. I have also reaped from sowing. Hello? And so every person that can write the check. Come, my dear uh, Minister Samantha. If you have your credit card or your debit cards, we want to take up a first fruit offering right now. I'm going to ask those of you who can sow 5,000. Did you hear what I said? Those of you who can sow 5,000. Those of you who can sow 3,000. 2,000. Watch this. Let me explain something to you. The Bible says the measure in which you give. Are you listening to me? The measure, the amount in which you give, that amount will be given back to you. Watch this. I have learned a secret with God. I used to make a certain amount of money, my brothers and sisters. And my giving, I stepped up my giving to the amount where I want to. In other words, I started challenging myself, Sister Jackie. I desire a $10,000 a week salary. Oh, yes. I challenged God and I gave. I want a $1,000 a day salary. I challenge God and I give. The amount you give, the very same measure will be given back to you. So even if you are not earning a $1,000 a day or a $1,000 a week right now, if you make the sacrifice and say, God, I'm challenging you. I want to give this because this is what I want my salary to be. Your faith, your works, God will honor it. Amen? So I'm challenging you. If you can do 5,000, do it. Write the check. Swipe your card. Hallelujah. Do the Zell transfer. If you're on YouTube or Facebook, Today is Resurrection Sunday. Partner with us today. We have to give on this altar. Watch this. When God, when Jesus was on the cross, it pained the heart of the Father so much because Jesus was a sacrifice. Anything that you are doing unto God, if it doesn't pay in your heart, it's not a sacrifice. Some of you may say, well, prophet, 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 all right. Oh yes, I'm okay. God is taking good care of me. Hello? Why? Because I have trusted him with my resources. And so, I will be okay because he has blessed, and whom he blessed, no man can curse. But, 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 but the question is, don't you want to be okay too? Don't you want to be blessed too? Amen? Challenge yourself. Lord, I want to be a blessing to this house. And I'm giving my first fruit. Amen. Let's stand together. I'm not going to keep you any longer. And I'm going to ask you to come. For those of you who have your first fruit offering, come and place it on the altar. I'm leading by example. I'm placing mine first. Place your money on the altar. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 
for those of you that you're not in the position to give a week's salary, I need you to come, every single person that can. If you can do 200, come with it. If you can do 100, come and let's be a blessing in this moment. You can't be afford, you can't afford to miss this. Send the zealots over. Some of you, you need some breakthrough. You need some breakthrough in certain areas of your life. Promotion, jobs, cars, houses, immigration uh, documents. Right now is a moment. Right now, right this minute is what you need to tap into. And those of you who need a man, Now is the underwife, yes. Now is the time for you to sow. You sow for what you want. I'm being serious. I'm telling the principle. It's a given. It's a principle. Challenge yourself. Bring that 100. Bring that 200 and come. My first fruit. I honor the Lord with the substance of my first fruits. I honor the Lord with my giving. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's stand together. I'm not going to keep here anymore. Thank you, Lord. Jillian, you come, you come already? I feel in my spirit you need to come. You come already? A while ago? Good. Point your hands to this altar, everybody. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the hands of your people, they are blessed. In the name of Jesus, they are highly favored. I decree and declare, Lord, everyone that gave, those who have jobs, they will begin to see promotion coming their way. They will begin to see expansion coming their way. Those who have businesses, I decree and declare, oh Father, that they will begin to experience an overflow. Clientels will, oh God, bombard them. Yea, they will not have hands enough to serve their clients. Father, I speak a blessing over this first fruit offering. I command increase upon increase. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, everything that was held up for your people by this virtue, God of the obedience, ha, ya, ya. it will be released now. Their seed shall speak for them. I decree and declare it is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to close. Amen. Let's stand together. Thank you, Holy Spirit. heaven. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. Amen. Your Sunday is blessed. Your Monday is blessed. Your Tuesday is blessed. Your Wednesday is blessed. Your Thursday is blessed. Your Friday is blessed. Your Saturday is blessed. Come on, say, I am blessed. Hallelujah. Fellowship with somebody. Have a blessed week. Yes, my daughter, Chishara, she has cake.
to share with you guys. Amen. Amen. All the kids, we have something for you.